welcome guys to the fourth tutorial and here we are working on displaying our products and that is why we will just quickly you know work on our adopter and what is going to happen here is we'll just be taking a constructor originally i want to do a video on diffutel i have learned that but just like uh, i'll do this like next time i can show you what is diffutel and we'll talk about that in the detail so let's just simply create list product product list let's create a method and simply here it's quite simple maybe i should pause the video so you know so this is the you know layout for the item that is why we have if product is null else return product list dot size and what are the views we have a text view that displays title of product we have description of product and we have circular image view that displays the image of the product so let's quickly cast these views um yeah what should we do here okay maybe i have to check here in this layout that what is the so yeah product title okay let's just go back to the when you have so many files it is hard to remember the ids order description main circular image view okay great now what we do is we just simply attach shit to it get title holder set text product dot list i'm sure by now you are used to it because this is uh, oh yeah i did not take the description of maybe what should we do should we add a description field or not i think since it's a demo so no need let's just display the price then in instead of display or maybe let me just pause the video and like enter some description there so what i'll be doing is i would be adding a separate field for a description so you know like we can display something let's just get this yeah that's all so in each in each of the document i would just be adding this remember this key name
yeah we need to type the correct spelling if the spellings are not correct then maybe it will miss out on on fetching this field so maybe one or two more to go okay one more that's great okay so we'll come back here and we will edit our model a little bit we need to add a description and let's pass this and let's create the getter and setter for this also Okay, perfect. Now we go back to our adopter and uh, get description is set here. And for glide, we will just holder item view get context load product list get position get image URL center crop into holder dot circle image view okay we have successfully created an adopter and this is for you know this is just a null pointer exception but you know since we have manually added the list so definitely there is something in the list but yeah I just added it anyway okay what we'll do is we'll just go to the MVVM and first of all we'll work on the repository so what do we have here we will create the ins ins instances okay and we want to display the all the products so we'll just go public void get all pro and what we'll do here is firestore collection the collection name was although event listener is ideal for you know once there are changes being made to the list and you can use here on complete listener but I am just used to of using this so we'll just go with that so what we'll do here is we'll take a list and what is our model product product list and initialize this as a array list perfect and once this starts out of loop we'll just clear it and document snapshot ds value dot get documents products product ds to object product dot class we will be creating an interface this is the fourth time I'm doing it so that is why I'm not explaining it so much because we want to pass this so in any activity or class if you want to pass something then you can take the help of creating a custom interface Okay, great. Now I will so whenever this class is being used somewhere, this will contain the method of this interface. So we'll come back here, interface products, products, and pass product list and first of all this product list needs to have the product model okay so the list is being loaded and we'll go to our view model extend view model take a mutable live data list
products mutable live data we'll create a method public live data and also at the same time we would need an instance of uh, our repository because that has the list that we want to add in our recycler view so what happens here is set value products return mutable live data and also public product view model product repository get all product so our view model is ready and we will go back to product fragment so we'll clear this mess And what we'll do here is we have a recycler view, we have an adopter, we have a view model also, and on this, if you remember, we also have a floating action button. and we have a text view that displays quantity in cart so there are there might be other views to be initial that needs initialization but we'll like you know we can take firebase source firebase source oh sorry Yeah, I'm just taking this ahead of time. So let's just initialize these. And uh, yeah, these views needs to be initialized to recycler view product. Recycler is set layout manager, linear layout, very easy. M adopter. So for M adopter, we need one more thing is that once the user clicks on it, we want to open a new activity. I could have done this in a separate tutorial, but since we are at it, so let's just go with it. We are flowing, so let's just keep on flowing. And if you remember from the repository that how did we pass some values we can do the same thing here we can create an interface so let's create one let's just go and and we'll just add this into the constructor okay so what are we returning here we are returning because whatever the item has been clicked on when we go to the detail activity then it should display that product list and the position of whatever the item that has been clicked so what we'll do is product list 
So if you are wondering where did it come from, it came from here. And where did this come from? We will use this method and add our list that is going to be returned from here and will be added into this. I'll show you how. So we have initialized this adopter here because it is dependent on an interface. So let's just implement it method. We can come to it later. And uh, what we'll do is now we have floating action button. And we have quantity in cart. Let's check like what was the name. So the name of okay the cart quantity. Okay, great. Okay, good. Now what we have to do is we just have to get our view model view model provider get activity. get product view model class view model get all products observe get new observer list so this method set product list and set adopter is this so you, you must be wondering where did this come from this came from here the same method that I was talking about now it is being used so this this should do the job and uh, yeah this should uh, display our products but let me see what time is it yeah so this is a long tutorial so I think I have I will stop this here and then in the next one I will show you how to go to the product detail activity but we have already set the groundwork for it so yeah I'll see you in the next one Thank you.